personally uh, probably heard the story of Bishop Paul. After high school, I was dreaming to continue on college, but my parents cannot bring me to college, so I was asking God to help me find way. And then one Sunday afternoon, I attended a Mass at the chapel, Divine Word College Chapel in Northern Edo, Fangasinan. And the school director noticed me, and he said, Paul, anong plano mo sa buhay? What is your plan? And I was honestly told him, I want, I wish to continue in college, but my parents cannot bring me home to college. And he said, I just received a request from our SDD seminary, Christ the King in Quezon City. They are looking for a full-time sacristan. You know, a church, the one who will open the door and serve at Mass, clean the church. And I, I thought of myself said, wow, that will be an opportunity for me to be a working student. So I told my school director, Father, can you write a recommendation letter to the Father Rector? He made one. And with the recommendation letter of Father Director, I was traveling from Ordinato Pangasinan to Kubal. I was praying hard to God. Jesus, if you would give me this job, I will offer my life. Meaning to say, I will serve you. I will enter the seminary. So, upon reaching the seminary, I hand that recommendation letter to the Father Rector. And his reply was, Salamat sa Dios, may nag-apply. Tanggap ka na. <laughs> so, so, I started walking. Uh, that was August 1976. But I have to stop schooling. I have to work as a full-time em employee of the SVD, a full-time sacristan and mayor dog. But while walking, the SVD missionary saw me and said, Would you like to join us? Would you like to join us become an SVD missionary? And I was telling them, my parents cannot bring me to college, so much more to the seminary. But two old missionary priests promised to look for a benefactor, and they found one. So on the next year, I applied, I was accepted, I entered first year college philosophy in the seminary, but I remained a working student. I was a still an employee of the SD Sacristan, and I entered the seminary, June 1977. Almost exactly 30 years. It was March 26, 2007. I went back to the very altar where I was cleaning, where I was as a Christian. It was the very altar where I was ordained a bishop. I was telling myself, poverty is not a hindrance. To fulfill one's dreams and to be of service. Because sometimes, not only with the greater world that we become lost, most of the young people of the Philippines, because of extreme poverty, no opportunity for education, no opportunity to, to realize their dreams, and probably, especially institutions, schools, religious communities, may we be sensitive and listen to the yearnings of the young, where we can help them. And like Jesus, telling the, the mother, you can rise, you can rise. And through the care, the sensitivity of uh, directors or those who are in charge of formation, may we always be a Jesus to them giving all opportunities to each one equally and uh, making them realize, giving them opportunities where they can once more meet Christ, see God through us. So Pope Francis, 
the final word. Here is a reminder from Pope Francis. My dear young people, make the most of these years of your youth. Do not confuse happiness with an armed jail or live your life on the screen. Live, give yourselves over to the best of your life. Please do not make an early retirement. And finally, it is never too late. Start now. Make the most of your youth, my beloved young. Thank you and pray.